What's up, Pisces, Kings, Queens, and everything in between? I am Austria of Ambado Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury to give you guys a general love message for um, a versus reading. Um, your person will be on this side, and you will be on this side. Um, right now, I'm getting um, some past and present energy for you and your person. All right. So we have religious factors in the reverse. It says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. All right, so maybe you guys were raised differently, didn't have the same values or morals. Getting to know each other, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your, your bond deepens. I'm hearing don't have your friends in your business. Um, but yeah, so you guys will be um, in this present moment. Look like y'all getting to know each other still here. Yeah, and in the future, it's saying playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So don't be too fucking serious. No need to be. All right, past life relationship. It's quite possible that you guys have known each other before or this is like a rekindling here um and it says you have known each other before here all right so we're going to go ahead and get some overall energy for you and your person pisces pisces sun moon rising venus What did I just say? Reconciliation. Seeing you again reminds me that life is better with you in it. Okay. And it says divine timing. Trust in the perfection of divine timing. And that's why this person is coming back in your life because that's what it was that's what was meant to um happen i would be surprised if i don't see the justice card and the the wheel come out now oh wait we have awakens a love and look how that light is shining Awaken love. Now I know and understand that I'm in love with you. Oh, I know now, baby. Control. I, I want to feel in control. Um, I want to feel in control than to lose myself in love. This person could be struggling from a lot of different stuff that they dealt with in the past. And they're kind of bringing that towards your relationship. I'm getting a sense that um, it may be something that you can do to assist this person to heal that part of themselves. But... Do not take that as you trying to be Captain Sabaho if somebody is just being uh, fucked up and rude to you because that is not what I'm saying. Um, you'll know. Use your discernment. All right, we have jealousy here. It says, it kills me knowing there could be someone else in your life. risk take the risk or lose the chance that is the question okay so for some of you i'm definitely getting the third party in energy um, i'm getting them here for you though um we'll see main woman come on now nobody else has my attention you're the only one that i want but for you to be a main woman there has to be <laughs> someone that isn't a man <laughs> so that's that that third party energy that I was sensing there. Okay. Your person is probably not really talking here, like, or they're they're not really telling you how they feel about something. Here is what I may be getting. We have the five of wands here, the um, devil card in the reverse, and the sun card. The Capricorn energy, Leo energy here. Okay, so 
it looks like you could possibly de be dealing with someone that is playing the field. Um, you guys could have possibly also, they were interested in, you know, um, having sex with you. Um, I'm, I'm getting a bit of an obsessive energy here, a little bit of codependency, but they do want to be happy with you. I'm getting a, a very, like, a lot of, like, sexual energy here of them being very interested in you sexually. This person also may feel like they're weak for you. Seven of Wands in the reverse and the Four of Wands. Yeah, so it's like this person is like you're possibly in a relationship with someone else. And they've started coming back towards you in your life or whatever. And they're wanting to fuck that shit up, okay? Um, they're definitely feeling a sense of... Um, like they lost a chance with you here. They're in their head a lot. They're anxious and worried about if you guys are going to be able to come back um, in union. I'm hearing um, talking in secret. Star card, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. All right, baby. So, ooh, so basically, you're like, okay, so I cannot, I cannot be involved with such debauchery. Like, it's like I am not the type of person that um does this, whatever this is, you know. So it's like. You're like, I don't really do this, <laughs> but um, Aquarius energy with the star, but I'm definitely getting a sense of kind of leaning towards doing it though, because it, it's more of a sense of being um, like something just happens is the energy that I'm getting. Um, something just happens is something that you're going to feel like you have to get forgiveness for. But this isn't something that you had planned or anything like that. You actually put a lot for a lot of effort to not um, do the do with this person for some of you. Yeah. Yeah, because you didn't want to risk your relationship here with the Hierophant in the reverse and the Four of Wands. You don't want to risk your relationship and your stable structure that you got fucking with this person. You know what I mean? But you do feel like a sense of um, you had a lack of control with <laughs> with this situation. It wasn't supposed to happen, but it, it did, you know? And you definitely feel some sort of way about it, man. Like, you're like, oh my gosh. It's like you had so, like, all of your emotions just kind of, like, spilled out into this, like, situation here. Wow. Let's see what actions your person is going to be taken towards you. I don't know if I said it really, Spirit. Sorry about that. All right, so let's see your intent here. I'm sorry, not your intent. Your person's action that they're going to be taking towards you during this time frame, the 15th to the 21st. I'm not sure if I said it or not. Yeah, I see. Oh, we y'all mean up. Oh, y'all mean up, baby. Okay, so many, look, so many things. So many things to pick up. So many things to talk about. Okay, okay. So, 
it's like with the lover's card gemini energy here this person is definitely taking action towards you showing you that they are choosing you they want to be with you um and they're bored of and they're they're really like tired of the secrets here they no longer want to have um I'm, I'm hearing fleeting moments with you, um, Cancer Pisces energy here. They no longer want to have fleeting moments with you, baby. They want they want something real, honey. Mm. Okay. King of Swords in the reverse, Queen of Cups here. King of Swords is Taurus energy, Gemini energy. The Queen of Cups is Cancer's energy as well as um, Gemini's energy. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Gemini. You're feeling like, um, or they're feeling like, you know, they're tired of, first of all, they feel like you could possibly be getting treated um, like badly, but they also feel like, you know, how can I say that? You don't, you don't, you don't see how much they love you. You know what I mean? They're feeling like it's a lack of clarity on your part that you're not seeing how emotionally invested they are and how much, how much they're willing to nurture and grow this relationship here. I'm getting someone that is very sensitive and to your needs. Someone that really wants to be there for you emotionally and physically. Like, baby, what's up? What's up? Okay, now, let's see what actions you're going to be taking towards them. I they tell you this, baby. Nine of Cups here. The Page of Swords here. And the Four of Pentacles here. Mm, 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 mm. So, it's like, you can't do it, you know? Um, you cannot pull the gun. I mean, you know, you, you can't pull the trigger on this. Yeah, this person is wish fulfillment and all that jazz and yeah, that shit's nice. But to you, you feel like, you feel like you're, you have a sense of anxiety here. You feel like it's like this person could be a little bit aloof and you want to like stay with who you know or you could feel like you don't want to cause any issues in the sense that are more like especially if you have kids that you're being self-centered in order to have um a certain type of emotional relationship with this person and you don't want to jeopardize your stability you know what i mean so you are deciding to no longer move forward with them with the page of pentacles in the reverse you're deciding to kind of stop that shit in its um in its um in its tracks and cut them the fuck off you're gonna be real cold about it you may ghost them and you may you know say i can't you know i can't because you 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 want happiness you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to take that risk Oh, wait, this right here. Okay, definitely like, share, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what's going on here, baby, because I need to know, all right? Oh, wait, oh, wait. So, nine of cups over here, okay, all right. Okay, so now it's like their soulmate, their wish fulfillment broke their heart. And they're trying, they're like so disappointed by your, um, by the actions that you're taking here. They feel like, you know, you're in denial about this connection and about how you guys should be moving forward here. They feel like this is very much a, um, they feel like you're, you're in fear and you're making a bad choice here. Like, truth be told they feel like you know um it, it, it's almost a sense of you are being defensive of a relationship that you're only tolerating is what they feel and they feel like you two are meant to be 
I don't know about this, man, because I'm getting a sense like this motherfucker popping up. This motherfucker not letting it go. They are not okay with, you know, um, you telling them no. Like, not in the least bit, baby. Yeah. And we got two, we got two fours and two fives here on their side, too. Okay. And each set, oh no, both of those are up right now, mind. All right, so we have the Five of Cups in the reverse here, the Ten of Cups in the reverse here, and the Ten, the ten of Pentacles in the upright. Y'all just gonna play all day, huh? Y'all just gonna play all freaking day, huh? Yeah, you, you, okay. So you're very upset about this shit, you know what I'm saying? You're disappointed, and I'm getting a sense of heartbreak here. Um, you know, you're trying to overcome this, but you do not want to, you do not want to break up your family, though. You don't want to break up your happy home. You don't want to take that 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 risk here. You don't want to risk everything that you built. Um, you know, you don't. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to risk everything that you built with with the person that you you're already with here. You don't want to do that. So that's pretty much why you're deciding to stay with this person. Yeah, that's the that's the challenge that you're facing here. Yeah, see, um, Aries energy with the Tower card, and it looks like you know there is like some sort of epiphany here. Um, you know that's gonna bring you a sense of balance here. Um, you're definitely going to have to um, put in some like. I think this the epiphany is that you don't want to deal with this person anymore. Um, this person over here. So you're going to put in act some boundaries so that, you know, they can't come towards you. Look, the judgment card here again. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. All right. Let's get some self-care cards. Oh, okay. Spirit saying go ahead and do the Zodiac first. So the Zodiac that you guys could possibly be dealing with during this time frame. Just to give clarity to you guys, um, those of you that are like, oh, well, I don't know if this is really my reading. That's what Spirit said. I don't mean to make it, <laughs> give you that nasal voice, but yeah. Sun, Leo, energy there. We have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then we have Air, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini there. So Spirit is like not playing with y'all. So y'all don't fuck with Earth, I guess. But yeah, y'all. Y'all funny as hell. Oh, Spirit giving you what? Okay. All right. We have Nourish Your Temple, 38. And it's also 11 here. 38 is 11. Definitely giving me um, twin flame vibes. You could be dealing with your twin flame. We also have 45. Get out there and sing, baby. We have connect with your womb, 15 here. I'm getting a sense of needing to possibly do like a, a ritual, like a cleansing ritual. Hit me up if you, if you need that, baby. Look, hit me up. Um, then we got make an altar. 16 here and at the bottom we have be still mm. okay so um like i said definitely like share comment and subscribe definitely let me know what's going on in this situation and thank you so much for all of your love and positive energy i appreciate all of that and i send it back to you guys tenfold and i will see you guys in the next one bye